Hello YouTube, it's Krosama, and here we have today is the Gundam 00 Sky. This mobile suit in particular is pretty damn good. I really love the aesthetics of it overall, I think the posability is just top notch. A lot of people had gripes because they thought it was kind of like a rehash of the 00 Gundam, in which this really shares like almost no similarities with the uh, the original 00 Gundam. I think the only things that kind of share some similarities is just going to be uh, some of the arm parts. Uh, but that's pretty much it like everything else is like brand new so I'm pretty excited to go ahead and do some of these poses for you guys because I've I, I've just loved putting this in different poses ever since the review so uh, without further ado let's go ahead and get into the first pose I was really going for like a dual blasting kind of action pose. Um, I I don't know. I guess I I kind of achieved what I wanted, but at the same time, I, I think it looks a little bit less than spectacular. So I, I would definitely say play around with it a little bit. You know, um, maybe pose the feet a little bit differently with the, the entire leg a little differently. But it, the one problem is like I wanted to get the uh, the right arm over a little bit more. Uh, but that's kind of like the extent that it can really go in, into. I, I don't know, like I tried pulling it out just a little bit, a little bit out of the poly cap, but it's really not going to do much more outside of that. So um, if you definitely, uh, if you like this type of pose when it comes to utilizing both uh, like that long rifle as well as just a regular beam rifle, I would say go ahead and, you know, try and test out as many poses as possible. Uh, but ultimately, this is the one I'm going to go ahead and stick with for right now. And eventually I'll probably go ahead and, and you know, get a better pose down packed. Uh, but let's go ahead and start moving on to the second pose. Okay, and here is the second pose. Uh, now basically all I want to do is emphasize that sword a bit because I really love that sword. Uh, I think it's pretty cool, it's a great design. Uh, very much like the uh, the Destiny Gundam of course since you know most of this is actually uh, based from the Destiny. But I just want to go ahead and utilize it because yeah, it's a cool looking sword. Uh, try to do something more aligned to uh, the original OG Gundam. Uh, really love that scene where he's blowing up that uh, Zaku, you know, just Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful art, uh, either in the anime or on the uh, the 2.0 um, Master Grade cover art. So I just decided to use that. And it's in that uh, I forgot what it was called, like the the, the lunge mode or um, the lance mode. Uh, basically, just allowing it to be more melee oriented. So. That's basically what I went ahead and utilized it for. Uh, overall, I think it looks pretty good. Um, the mode itself, eh, it takes a little bit of getting used to, but it's not really too bad. Uh, the one problem you are going to have is like this, the sword itself doesn't really lock into the hand, so you're probably going to have a little bit of trouble getting it in the right you know angle. But you know, a little bit of practice and a little bit of um, I don't know, just kind of like wiggling around and just friction overall uh, should be good to go. Uh, so let's go ahead and move on to that third and final pose. Okay, and here is the third and final pose. Um, so yeah, I, I do like this mode quite a bit. Like I mentioned, I, you gotta get used to it. It's not something that I was really in favor of when I first seen it, but uh, when I saw it in action, I was like, you know, it actually does look pretty pretty dope in my opinion. And I just like the more melee oriented mobile suits. Um, even though like I would just say this out in public, like I meant, uh, many times said before, I really don't like G Gundam as a series. 
However, I really love Shining and God Gundam. I think those two mobile suits are pretty damn cool and probably in the top uh, five of my all-time favorite melee suits. Um, so with this, I just want to go ahead and just, you know, kind of showcase the melee side just a little bit more. Uh, but yeah, if you do like this, I would definitely recommend you get a, a pretty cool looking base like this one. Uh, these are basically the uh, figureized standard um, effect bases. There's a whole bunch of different ones that they have. Uh, I, what I'll probably recommend is like get the clear ones like this one and then go ahead and paint in some of the... Uh, pretty much any other color that you want um but yeah let's go ahead and uh i think i think i think i deserve a bonus pose i think it's definitely bonus pose time And so for the bonus pose, I basically just want to go ahead and use the Higher Than Sky phase. Um, I didn't really know of anything that's more unique than what I've already done in, in terms of poses. And I really didn't want to utilize the, uh, the beam rifle or the long rifle. Uh, so I was like, you know what, I haven't used the beam sabers at all. Let me go ahead and utilize these in some kind of way, shape, and form. Um, and it kind of reminds me that I really do hate these beam sabers. I don't think they're really that great. Uh, mainly because you have to take off the front skirt part and add it on to it, which, yeah, that's, I mean, that's how it is in the show, but, man, it's kind of annoying. Uh, but ultimately, I think, uh, you know, it looks pretty good overall. Um, I just didn't really know what else I could have really done with the beam sabers. I could have, like, had them on the ground, but I was like, eh, it doesn't really make any sense. I, I would much, much rather a aerial pose, so I went ahead and just stuck with that. Um, but yeah, you could definitely go ahead and do, do something different. This is kind of like more of just, hey, an insight to how you can actually pose your kit um, if you just don't have any idea whatsoever. Uh, but, for, but for more of like the master class posers, um, the ones that like, they instantly know the kind of pose they're going to go ahead and pull, pull off with their kits. Uh, yeah, maybe this isn't more your liking right here. Uh, maybe you're a little bit more advanced. But uh, ultimately, guys, I do appreciate y'all, you know, continuously watching these videos and supporting the channel. Um, if you can, definitely drop by my... Um, some of my social media links uh, such as Twitter or my Facebook or my Instagram and I, I constantly post things on there uh, wh whether it be different types of poses uh, sometimes poses that I don't actually put in the videos uh, but you can definitely go ahead and check it out on there and I always post you know up-to-date stuff uh, when it comes to like my channel as well as my per personal life so if you can drop by those links on my channel and um, you know d just drop a follow or a like and like always, guys, thank you for watching. Uh, please rate, rate, comment, subscribe, and stay tuned for the next Pose video and reviews. All right, guys, I'll see y'all later. Bye-bye.